the power to start and pull through till we find success. We should know this. Even intelligent people do procrastinate and never really reach their full potentials. The key lies in passion, in discipline, and morality. Also seeking the wisdom of like-minded people, mentors, and coaches could help a great deal. Self-mastery is the key to progress through genuine examination of self and the distractions around us. We can learn to release subconscious breaks and learn to learn, unlearn, and relearn stuff so we stay constantly on the growth lane and it's an infinite process. We can do better when we master ourselves. El Nightingale tells a beautiful story of the haves and have-nots. The human race comprises of the haves and the have-nots. We generally regret what we did not try out. It all starts in the mind and the key to every human success lies in the mind and the mindset. 100 humans having the same prerequisite start at the age of 25 to go through life and find success. We are all aiming to at least be financially independent as we age. 65 is mostly the golden age, the age of relaxation and retrospect, the age of pride. What will be our worth after working for 40 years and earning a salary without really thinking out of the box? One person out of the hundred people becomes rich. One person becomes the odd one, the outside one. One person thinks out of the box and becomes really rich. It's perfectly okay to do what 99% of the people are not doing. Four people become independent by the age of 65. Four people understand the system and have learned and practiced how to become experts in their trade. They stay focused and have started employing others and become the controllers of wealth. 54 people become dependent. So we see the majority opinion is never really the best. It only offers fellowship and a comfort zone for people who do not want to think out of the box. Or at least learn one trade to become experts. Unfortunately, 36 people die Sure thing, accident or natural selection is mostly inevitable. Yet the lifestyle we promote mostly determines a lot on how long we eventually live or not. There is generally hopelessness when we have to beg for every penny. So most people give up. So again, the crowd is mostly pulling us from our growth from the growth lane. When we look closely, we see that 1% will do what the 99% are not doing. 4% will become independent. 54% stay in the comfort zone and are the willing slaves in the society. They eventually become sick and dependent. 
36% fall away out of whatever reason. That's how the world population works. And we can make the change. The steps we take for every new idea or path. The first thing is the realization. Something has to change. That's the green light. Then we visualize what we want to do. We create pictures in our minds. We formalize the things by writing down plans and talking to role models and experts or finding even a coach. We write the plans with realistic estimates to review from time to time. We rewrite and write and write the plans and even write letters to our future selves. Then we check our resources and our challenges. We check our culture, our finances. We check what we have. And we start off. We take off immediately without delay. And that's how the process from realization to start is the way to go. And even if we fail, we start all over again. Life is a personal race. No matter where we start, it all depends on the worth we create. When we finally decide it's time to sit and give back or enjoy what we spent time building. Commitment leads to excellence. Through the internet, there is global connectedness and the market is growing bigger and bigger. It's okay to try by looking at what we already have to push us ahead and not just what we do not have. 65 could just be the beginning if everything works well for us. Well done to all the hard workers. Thank you. The growth process continues and it's all about love.